food and drinks in uh, the OBT basement like we usually do every year. It's nice to be able to gather here on Zoom so that we can celebrate with performances from Portland Tyco and the Beyond Basics class as well as take a look back on this year. We're also here to show appreciation for everyone who supported Portland Tyco over the last year. So thank you all for being here tonight. So there's a lot planned. So let's just get things kicked off with Dan who will be introducing our first performance of the evening. Take it away, Dan. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Chin. I'm a performer with Portland Tyco. And uh, this piece that you're about to see is called Forest Festival. Uh, back in 2000, the National Endowment for the Arts funded a Millennium Project called Continental Harmony, in which each of the 50 states uh, commissioned a musical work to be performed by a local group. And in the case of Oregon, uh, Portland Tyco was selected to be uh, the performing group. Uh, and Kenny Endo was the selected composer. So the Forest Festival is also part of a larger arrangement titled Wind, Water, Wood. Uh, by Ken Ando. Um, for this piece, you'll see that uh, we were able to record in a actual uh, real live forest, which really added to the uh, experience for us as performers. So here is Forest Festival.
Thank you, Portland Tyco. Next, we're gonna take a look back at what Portland Tyco did over the last year. But before we do that, I'm gonna take a moment to remind everyone that our annual Bonenkai get together is our end of the year celebration slash end of the year fundraiser. So if you're able, please give as you can to help Portland Tyco continue its mission. Individual supporters are the heart of Portland Tyco's funding. So thank you very much to everyone who has or will give tonight. There's a donation link in the chat that's gonna show up. So you can click on that and there it is also on the screen. And now it's time to take a look back at Portland Tyco over the last year, 2022. So 2022 started off via Zoom as a spike in COVID cases forced everyone back to remote rehearsals. Pillows and furniture once again served as Tyco and video recordings marked each other's recording uh, progress. Virtual and hybrid performances, such as the performance at the Salem Library, combined live streamed demonstrations and narration with pre recorded content, which allowed PT to still hold performances while responding to the limitations of the pandemic. But 2022 wasn't all Zoom. Excitingly, this year, PT saw its first full length live performance in over for two years at the Sherwood Center for the Arts back in April. And over the year, PT had a total of 27 performances, 11 of these being mission-based events such as the JACL Day of Remembrance, the Hiroshima Memorial, the Oregon Educators of Color Network honoring of Nisei Vets, and the Asian American Youth Leadership Conference, among others. With the city opening back up, PT participated in the return of several public events like the Oregon Symphony Waterfront Concert, the Obon Festival, and People of the Drum. The return of the Starlight Parade saw everyone in PT, including the Taiko, dra draped in plastic rain ponchos while playing in and pushing the very heavy, very soggy yatai in the rain. Then in August, PT presented the Portland Tyco Farm Festival at Triskali Farm. This sold out outdoor show featured PT along with guest performers, our very own Beyond Basic students. And who can forget some of the other features of the Farm Festival, the shaved ice truck and the chickens walking through the audience. Definitely a crowd favorite. Then off stage in 2022, PT continued to teach regular Tyco classes with some Tyco 101 workshops specifically held for the Asian American community and also had a residency with Tyco master Tiffany Tamarabuchi. And the biggest offstage event was, of course, the retirement of Executive Director Win Kiyama, who we will embarrass with tributes and compliments later in the evening. So that's our year in review for Portland's Tyco in 2022. Next up, we have Dan again to talk about our Tyco classes. Hello again, it's me. Uh, I'm here to uh, talk a little bit about uh, this class I, I taught this past fall called Movement and Matsuri. Uh, I was very excited to do it. Um, I was a little nervous because I hadn't really taught in a while, mm, over 10 years probably. And uh, I thought, uh, oh yeah, as long as I know more than the students do, that's probably gonna be you know, okay. And um, I immediately thought or realized that this was a group of students who were really super enthusiastic. Uh, before the class even started, they, they were asking for study material and uh, I was not really um, prepared for that at first. Um, but um, as soon as I met them, um, I knew it was, it was gonna be a great, a great session. Um, they learned new rhythms, new patterns um, and movement, which is really challenging for beginning students. Uh, and all within just an hour long class, um, once a week for eight weeks. So um, I really appreciated their willingness to, um, 
do things outside of their comfort level. And I think that was only possible because they were such a supportive group with each other. And uh, this video that you're gonna see is a culmination of all of their, their practice and um, enthusiasm. And if you look really closely in the video, you might spot a board member, but you have to look very carefully. I'm not gonna give it away, oh, but um, so here's, Here's the video. Hey everyone, my name is Donovan. I'm a Portland Tycho performer, and I also had the uh, pleasure of teaching this session's Beyond Basics class. So a, a little bit like Dan, this was a little bit of a nervous time for me because this is actually my first time teaching a class for Portland Tycho. So I'm very grateful to have a group of uh, a very tight knit group of very talented, very motivated students who made this whole journey, you know, really fun, really straightforward, and really enjoyable. Um, much like the beginning class, we also worked on Midare Matsuri. This was a, a good refresher for a lot of students who have been with Portland Taiko for quite a long time. and was also a great introduction to Portland Taiko for a few new students we've had who have played Taiko before, but had recently decided to join up with us. So uh, please enjoy our uh, arrangement of Midare Matsuri.
Good evening. I'm Carol Saigat, uh, together with Lynn Grannon. We share the responsibilities of co-chairing the Board of Directors for Portland Tyco. It has been both an honor and a privilege to have worked with Wynn Kiyama as our executive director. His careful attention to detail, high standards for excellence, commitment to our mission, and building our community have been at the core of Portland Tyco's success over the past seven years. Not only is he a highly effective administrator, but he is also a talented musician and skilled teacher. Thinking outside of the box time and time again, he has led Portland Tyco into new adventures, like participating in the Starlight Parade, hosting outdoor concerts, and collaborations with musicians like No No Boy and Fear No Music. Like a father who works to see his child grow, Wynn's dedication to PT did not come without personal sacrifice and a tremendous sense of responsibility for the well being of the organization. Those are only a few of Wynn's tangible achievements. Just as important is the way he accomplished it all with his sense of respect and honor for all he came into contact with. In his final report to the board, Wynn said, I came to this job with a head full of Tycho, but as I leave, I understand what really matters is our community of Tycho performers, students, volunteers, supporters, and audience members. Wynn leaves Portland Tycho with a strong foundation in a position to grow and thrive. Thank you, Wynn. Sorry, I'm Lynn Grannon and I co-chair with, along with Carol, the Portland Tyco Board of Directors. And we're really looking forward to the events of 2023. A lot of you were at our fall farm concert, which was sold out and we will be repeating it again. And in addition, we will have an indoor concert in November. And watch for us in the Starlight Parade, rain or shine, we'll be there. And exciting, with the help of the MJ Murdoch Charitable Trust, we are looking forward to hiring a full-time artistic director, which will allow for more classes, compositions, collaborations, and help the performers to acquire new skills and inspiration. All of these activities and numer numerous performances are possible because we have a family of dedicated volunteers and supporters in our community. Portland Tycho has been in an enviable position among nonprofit arts groups in that supporters like you have provided us with the greater part of our revenue stream. Early in the history of Portland Tycho, a noted arts consultant in Portland highlighted on the uh, importance of individual donors because you are the most reliable. And that's the reason why we have been here for 28 years. But for the fourth year in a row, we will not be having our biggest fundraising, the benefit banquet in 2023 uh, for safety reasons. Uh, as this graph demonstrates, Individual donors and our fundraisers provide the greatest percentage of funds and without the benefit banquet, we need to make up that difference. We are faced with increased uh, operating costs. And so again, we ask for your support. To encourage your generosity, the board is offering up to match all individual donations dollar for dollar up to $13,500. So we ask for your help so Portland Tyco can continue to fulfill its mission. And please consider a donation to Portland Tyco as an investment 
and an irreplaceable part of our community. Thank you and enjoy the remainder of the program. Hi, I am happy to introduce our next uh, performance, which uh, was also recorded at the beautiful Forest Garden of Meredith Hildebrand. Uh, over the summer, we did a performance for a fundraiser for Friends of Chamber Music in her garden. And it was just such a stunning spot to perform in that we immediately uh, had this dream of recording uh, some pieces there as well. And we are extremely grateful. We had a, a really fun day making the recordings. So this piece, next piece is called Unfurled, and I composed it for our 25th anniversary in 2019. Uh, one of the hallmarks of my pieces is that I tend to use way too many drums, as many drums as possible. And all of my pieces also always have a lot of, of uh, movement, um, which I think makes them fun to play. So here is Unfurled. Thank you. 
Wonderful, thank you. All right, good evening. I'm Anne Ishimar, one of the um, founding members of Portland Tyco and one of the original co-directors. And I am here tonight to um, talk about somebody uh, that you don't see maybe as often um, out front. Um, I don't know if you realize that, that Portland Tyco has a secret weapon. So you know how James Bond has a Q and Q is the person who makes all those little gadgets, right? He makes the pens that, uh, that shoot poison darts and the cars that sprout wings and they fly when, when, uh, when he gets in trouble. And um, so whenever 007 is in a pinch, these are the, these are the things that um, he pulls out something that Q has made possible so that he can do the impossible. So Michael Hale is Portland Tycho's Q. So many years ago in like, so long ago, I don't actually remember when it was, um, this unassuming guy came to us and asked if we needed a volunteer. And he um, put up with um, all of these strange things, being in a place where there was incessant loud drumming happening all the time uh, with this uh, mix of different, all these different characters, cast of characters coming through and the computers. And he worked on all the, the databases and the inner workings of the organization. Um, he always had a wry comment or a corny joke. Um, and through multiple um, directors, lots of drama, transitions, um, all kinds of changes, moves of offices, Michael has continued to lend a hand two days a week, always humorously telling us that uh, his wife appreciates that he gets out of the off, uh, out of the house um, <laughs> for two days a week. So he is Portland Tyco's secret weapon um, and has helped the organization to weather um, many changes over the years. And we wanted to just take a moment to express our deep appreciation. Thank you so much. Um, to Michael Hale, who hopefully will get up on the screen here in a minute, so we can all appreciate him. Thank, Are you thank there, you, Michael? I'm here. There he is. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. <laughs> thank you so much for all you've done all the years and it's continue to do for Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Meredith. I'm the performance coordinator and performing member of Portland Tyco. I am super excited to introduce this next video about our trainees that we have this year, Claire and Derek. I've had the pleasure of working with Claire and Derek every week before rehearsal, um, and they've been working really, really hard to learn all of our core uh, repertoire. And I've truly loved teaching them. I wanted to share a little bit about my connections with Derek and Claire. Um, I met Derek when he came to observe one of our uh, practices. And at the time we were working on learning Unfurled, which you just saw, which is uh, kind of complicated. It has a lot of drums and Derek actually jumped right in and started learning it with us and he picked it up right away. And I found that very impressive. Um, I also found out he was from the Big Island of Hawaii, like my mom, and he used to be in Christy Oshiro's group um, in Kona, and so I was like, oh, we definitely need him in the group. Um, and he's been an awesome addition to our group, and I really enjoyed getting to know more about him. And now Claire. So I met Claire when I was in middle school and she was in about maybe fourth grade. Um, and she was like my little Tycho sister growing up. We played Tycho in Portland Tycho's uh, youth performing group called Tanuki Tycho. And I really enjoyed reconnecting with Claire and getting to play Tycho with her again. So I hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about our trainees, Derek and Claire. Hi there, my name is Claire and I'm one of the new trainees with Portland Tyco. Uh, my name is Derek Ogie and I'm uh, one of the new trainees. 
I started playing taiko when I was nine or ten years old. Um, started with a Portland taiko class. Uh, after the class, I continued and joined Portland taiko's youth performing group um, called Tamiki Taiko. And I played uh, in that group for nine years until I left for college. I started playing taiko back in middle school and I started playing with a small temple group in Hawaii, uh, Kona Dai Fukuji. I moved back to Portland uh, in the last couple years um, and was able to reconnect with Portland Taiko uh, and it's been really awesome to get back into it. Um, last year I flew back to LA for an alumni performance. I played with um, USC Kazan Taiko uh, t while I was in college and while I was there I met uh, Zoe and she she recommended that I reach out actually and um, try to get in touch with uh, Portland Taiko. One of my favorite things so far has been reconnecting with old Taiko mentors. Um, Derek and I have been really lucky to have Meredith teaching us all the PT songs. Um, and I just remember being like 10 years old and hiding in canvas Taiko bags with Meredith. Um, and so it's it's been really crazy and fun that um, now over a decade later, we're back playing together again. Everyone has been so kind and welcoming um, to, to me and Derek joining in. Um, and so I'm really grateful to, to be a part of this community. The culture shared among the members, especially towards about learning and improvement is, um, is truly spectacular. The level of talent and skill in this group is the highest of any that I've ever played with. And that's a little intimidating, uh, but also very exciting because everyone is so welcoming. And I think playing with everyone else really um, makes me feel like I, I can uh, get to that level one day as well. Looking forward, I'm excited to um, continue to learn more, uh, learn more songs and, and start performing. It's been great to kind of gradually join in more and more in practices and so um, I'm excited to share that energy on the stage um, and and really uh, continue to grow. I'm looking forward to continue to grow as a performer and as a person and to continue to get to know everyone and of course I'm also looking forward to performing so I'll have to see everyone out there when we finally get to perform. Okay Meredith here again with Hi everyone, I'm Karen Chu. And the next piece we will be uh, introducing in the next video um, is titled From the Village. And From the Village was strongly inspired by Portland Taiko's workshops with Hana Yui in 2001. Hana Yui taught the group children's song that you'll hear us singing in the video um, at the beginning. And in addition to the workshops with Hana Yui, the group also studied Hana Hachijo at Chico from Hachijo at Japan. So this piece is a homage to those workshops and to Hana Yui. So before the Fall Farm concert this year, the last time Portland Taiko actually performed this piece was in 2003, so nearly 20 years ago. So for most of us, it was our first time learning this piece. And during the beginning of this year, we were still doing it over Zoom and virtual rehearsals. And I think my favorite part of this piece is definitely the twirls. Same here. Um, aside from the bocce twirling though, we both love that this piece incorporates different elements such as singing and a lot of movement, which makes this piece very fun to play. We hope you enjoy From the Village. <laughs>
Well, that's our last performance for the evening. So thank you to everyone for being here tonight and throughout all of 2022. And a round of applause to all the Bonenkai organizers. It's been a great year, so here's looking forward to 2023. But before you go, please join me for an end of the year Tejime hand clap. So what that's gonna sound like is we're gonna do this pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And we're gonna do that three times. So, so we can make sure we have maximum sound and Zoom chaos. Everybody go ahead and unmute yourself. And we will see how difficult it is to rehearse music together on Zoom as we try to <laughs> sync and be together. <laughs> There we go. One, two, three, in. Hey. 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 Good job, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Good morning, Kai. Have a good Thanks, evening. everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Michael. Thanks, Wynn. Uh, Great job, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Good job. Cheers. You, we love you. This is awesome. <laughs> Great so job. Nice classes. Yeah,